everyone, in the last video, we detailed the skill of Lucinda, Tiara, and Malaya after the update. But since I don't use these heroes particularly much in battle, if you have different interpretations and suggestions, feel free to post your views in the comments. Today's video was supposed to continue to explain the skill changes and battle strategy of the other heroes after the update. But since I can only view their specific skill if I have the cards, so this series of video will temporarily stop until I buy the cards and have experience in using them. And I will continue to explain them to you. In this video, I will introduce you to the difference between the five classes of the cards in the game to help you make a better choice based on your needs. First is the common cards, which is the one that most players will choose in the battle. As we can see, in terms of attack power and HP alone, the calm cards are still not as good as the real cards even after they have been upgraded to higher level. Take my card for example, as an attack type hero, the 5 star Fiona has 187 attack power and 829 HP, which is even lower than the 4 star healer Sasha. When we click into the card details page, we find that the comp cards showed only one skill, and there is nothing to show except the activation option that can only be left at the card reach level 2. This means that there is no other way to increase the attack power and blood value of a common card in the battle, but to use a tool to increase the star level of the card. There is a lot of new players need to pay attention. The level of common cards to the second gen doesn't active the second skill. So don't blindly upgrade the cards. I want to upgrade a common Fiona to the second gen when well, I don't fully understand the difference brought by the card level, which cost me a lot of XWG. And finally, I find out that the common cards doesn't have a second skill. In the same way, if you wish to choose a card that will have a second skill to help you deck fight better, do not choose a real card. The biggest difference between it and the common cards is that it can refresh the first skill, making the effect of the skill stronger. This operation can be achieved through the reset stone in the mall. However, it is worth noting that the effect of each use of this stone is random. Not just use the stone once, the skill will go up a level. Sometimes, after using the skill level will instead drop, bad luck will even reset to level 1. I am a very good example just to rise Sasha's skill to level 3. I spent nearly 100 XWG. Of course, this may be just because I was not lucky enough. But the effect of this is also very significant. In Sasha's case, uh, Old Vision, I remember her first skill is initially set to restore 120 points of HP for all cards. But after upgrading, the effect of skill reached 180. The value does not match the official one, but in the actual battle it is true. And after the Vision update, most of the card skill effects from the original fixed value to a percentage, and according to my analysis, generally the first skill will be increased by 5% for each level of the skill. 
only cars of epic level or higher can have the Sagna skill, as you can see from my epic Lucinda. So Sagna skill is passive. Every time you are attacked, the card will trigger this skill, which means that almost every time the skill can be used. However, in addition to the ability to upgrade a skill as with rare cards, the activation of second skill is conditional. It is can only be turned on if the card is upgraded to the second gen and the level up stone is used. Taking my Lucinda as an example, we can find that her second skill was locked because after I upgrade her to the second gen, I fell too many times in the battle, causing her to lose a lot of experience and the card level was lowered. So the activation of the second skill is not forever. You must keep the card level and experience within a safe range to ensure that the card second skill will not be relocked even if you failed in the battle. Otherwise, you will need to repurchase experience tools and level up stone again, which will be an additional expense. Finally, there are the legendary and miss card. To be honest, I really see players using these two levels of cards in the battle, maybe once or twice. Of course, it's probably because they are so expensive. In the market, the lowest priced legendary cards are more than 2000 XWG, and many of them are only 1 star. And according to the Epic Card Skill Activation Conditions Gas, the activation of the third skill need to upgrade the card to the third gen miss card of the four skills also. As the star level of the cards rises, the experience required to upgrade increase, which means that the cost of the upgrading the cards will only be greater, especially after the third gen, the cost will be incalculable. However, the above analysis is only based on the skills of the card. In the actual battle, even legendary and miss cards without activated skill are already unbeatable for most players because their initial attack power and HP is much higher than common cards. So, players can choose the right cards to buy in the marketplace according to their budget, but of course, my current analysis is limited to the battle mode, and because I don't have legendary and miss class cards, my analysis may have errors and incomplete places. Welcome to correct or express your views in the comment section. I hope this video can help you understand the different levels of cars. Thanks for watching.